This video is going to explain the other section of your estimating catalog. Here, we're going to talk about how to add and edit information into your other catalog. But more importantly, we're going to talk about the difference between labor, equipment, material subs, and other items. The most important thing you need to remember about other items is that they've been set up so that there's no overhead recovery factors built into these costs. To put it simply, when you're entering other items, all you're thinking about is cost and a profit. This is a useful category for entering costs where you don't want to recover any overhead. On all the other categories we looked at thus far, labor, equipment, materials, and subcontractors, your budgets calculated an overhead recovery factor for these items and applied that factor when it's calculated a price. In the other section, you can enter any items you need to enter and we will not automatically calculate overhead recovery on these items. Equipment rentals are a good example for other items. Your equipment dealer has already calculated the operating costs of the rental equipment. Then he's added his overhead and his profit and passed that on to you. Now you need to add your overhead markup and your profit and pass it on to the customer. Sometimes you'll find that adding your overhead and your profit means you're gonna price rented equipment too high to be competitive. One way around that, is to add rented equipment as an other item. Now you're just adding profit to your cost to arrive at your customer's price, no overhead markup. Let's see how it works. To enter other costs into your catalog, you need to be in the estimating catalog. If you're not there already, from the Element Home screen, you're gonna choose Budgeting and Estimating, then Estimating Catalog, then you're gonna click the Other button. Now this is your list of other items that can be added to your estimates. To add another item to your list, just click the Add New button. The Other Items screen will then appear, and it works just like the other screens. The name should be the name of the item or service that you're adding to your catalog. This might be something like Rental dash Quick Cut Saw. Next is the description, and this is optional. Then you wanna enter the units, which you buy or sell this other item in. Could be feet, could be bags, each, hours, days, whatever you need the units to be. You can also round to the nearest hour or day or whatever your unit is, simply by entering a rounding factor here in the round to nearest box. Now you need to enter your cost. Here in the unit cost box, enter the cost per unit that you pay your vendors for this item. Don't forget to set the purchasing tax. That's the tax that you pay when you buy this item. Now your pricing strategy appears as usual, but don't forget, this time there's no overhead applied to the other items. It's cost plus profit, and that's all there is to it. Budget pricing is gonna read the profit from your budget. So whatever profit you're targeting in your budget, that's the profit that's gonna get applied to your other items. If you want more or less profit, you can use the other options to set up a custom profit margin or set a fixed price, whatever you want it to be. The last step is setting up the sales tax. This is the tax that you charge your customers when you sell these items. Now click OK when you're all finished to save your new item, and it's now going to show up in your list of other items. And that brings us to the end of the estimating catalog. If you've watched each video, you understand now what each item is and how to enter them. Now, one more thing before we dive into an actual estimate. Watch the video on work area templates. These handy templates combine items from your catalog to make estimating easy, simple, accurate, and highly systemized. Set up and used properly, work area templates are gonna save you hours and hours of time and eliminate tens of thousands of dollars in mistakes, oversights, inconsistencies, and data entry errors when estimating. So check out the work area templates video next, and we'll see you there.